there's a little something for the big man. Oh, sick. Oh, that's a great costume. You like it? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're like a, a wounded ATM. No. No, 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 I'm sorry. More like a, a, a mummy, money, money. Yeah. A money, mummy. Money, mummy, yeah. <laughs> that's brilliant. Thanks, man. Wow, that looks like uh, some real cash. OK, well, it's not, so. I don't know. It feels like oh. Oh. <laughs> Dave, stop. I'm kidding. Who are you supposed to be, like a midlife crisis? Jersey. Are you okay? Yeah, that's my character. No? Big man! The big man! James Brown. Are you a stroke? No, I'm the boss. I know, dude. I'm you have an office. Okay, I know. You're the I'm boss. I'm the boss. That's really like. Whoa, oh, 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 I'm the boss. It's kind of lame if you like tell people I'm that. I'm trying to lord my power over you. I am Bruce Springsteen. I don't know who the f that is. You don't know Bruce Springsteen? No, I'm a millennial, dude. Oh, that's depressing. Oh. Happy Halloween, Michaela. Not. No, Hunter, my world is literally falling apart. Oh my god, what happened? Did Haley and Justin break up? Did AOC catch a cold? No, someone messaged me this morning on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. They're everywhere, they see everything, and they have dirt on me. And they're gonna expose all my secrets today. What? You have a chamber of secrets that nobody knows about? Oh, come on, what are you, some kind of monster? Oh! I am not a monster. You know, actually, Frankenstein is the doctor. <laughs> I guess I am the monster. Call me Nessie, because I'm the one pranking Michaela. And what's every woke warrior like Michaela secretly afraid of? Being canceled by me, the money mummy. It's a very uncomfortable costume, to be honest with you. It took me six hours to put this on. There is no comfortable way for me to relieve myself. I'm wearing a pull-up pamper. It's like a diaper for adults. So if anybody scares me, I, I guess joke's on me, because I'll be sitting in it all day. One, two, three cool callbackers. What are you supposed to be? I'm, I'm the accountant. Oh. Oh. Are you an accountant? Because last time I checked, you were a sales douche. One douche. You know, it's, it's actually surprising to me that a private accountant would be so friendly with an auditor. Me and Lindsay are good friends, OK? Good friends? Good friends? When nothing's going on, you say, we're just friends. When something's going on, you say, we're good friends. There's something going on between Hunter and Lindsay. And that's illegal, OK? Because it's a conflict of interest. So they better stop. Well, I wanted to make it up to you guys for spending all of our teeny budget by getting you each an invitation to the sales team epic Halloween party. Dead Mouse is going to be performing. Hard pass. Because I don't give a one, a two, or a three fucks about you and your party. You sound like an Italian Arnold Schwarzenegger. Also, me and Rico are still definitely in the middle of a rap beef, and I'm taking it very seriously, so it's a hard pass from me. Oh, I think we could all go. It might be fun, just like the old times. Who's chugging me? And if there's a problem with some dead rodent, I will totally take care of it. Halloween is my night off. That's my time. There's no parenting gets done on Halloween. So what I do is I put a bowl of crackles on the front porch and I get out of there before the kids even wake up in the morning and I am gone. I wash my hands of responsibility. I'm like Punch's pilot. And if one of them goes missing, there's enough of them they can form a search party and go find them. Oh, now there's a good costume. It's not a costume, it's crow crap. I'm not getting the reference. It's bird turds. Is that like the Marvel Cinematic Universe? No. DC. But seriously, does anyone have a Tide pen? So I was walking into work, rocking out to my tunes, Bruno Mars, wearing my new hat, feeling fly, and a bird poops on my hat. Well, that's no big deal. I, I look at it, I, I start to investigate, a uh, bird poops on my hair. That sucks. I check my hair, I look up at the crow, I start cursing at it, and it poops right in my mouth. This crow followed me from a Jersey Mike's to a CVS, back to the Jersey Mike's, all the way to the office. It's coming after me! So I've been pooped on thrice today, and these aren't normal bird poops, okay? These are heavy loads. These are meat-eating crows. I think one of them got their beak on a cheeseburger. It's actually a pretty light Halloween for my family. We do not celebrate All Hallows' Eve. We just try to survive it. It's a cursed day for us. My goal for the day is just to clock in, 
I want to clock out. I'm going to go to the Cheesecake Factory in order to go. I'm going to go home, watch my stories, and I'm going to go to sleep. And I can do that because I have the S1 already done. So, Jamie. Yo, there are a bunch of adjusting journal entries that came in late, so there's a new TB. You're going to have to rewrite the S1 by 8 a.m. tomorrow before the board meeting. No smurfing exceptions. Don't be a smurf hole. I'm going to die tonight. I'm canceled. <laughs> I'm not R. Kelly. Yeah. You know, I just, I really want to get ahead of this. You may or may not be hearing some rumors pretty soon about me, and I, I can't really confirm or deny the truth behind them, but I just really wanted to clear the air, get ahead of this whole thing, so you know me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I may have done some things on yachts that I am not entirely uh, proud of. I stole a Grammy from Diddy's house once. My family may have taken some pictures with some oligarchs that, um, I, well, I wouldn't describe them as oligarchs. They're really just, you know, wealthy Russians. Is this gonna take a bit? Because I just want to get some creamer. Well, it's really more of like a luxury pontoon boat with some wait staff. It's over 40 feet, but we don't live on it year round, you know. You have a yacht? Luxury pontoon, darling. Some people might say that I was involved in um, certain secret societies. My family owns racehorses. So they're racists. I have tried to connect with people in this office on a personal level, but clearly it is not working. I need to issue a clear statement that atones for my mistakes and, and promises to do better. Something authentic yet vague. Something heartfelt yet perfectly quaffed for public consumption. I need to make a YouTube apology video. <laughs> You know, that is such a funny costume. You know, most girls wouldn't be brave enough to wear a costume like that. You know, that's like funny instead of sexy. Most of us go for sexy, obviously, but I'm impressed. Really, it's admirable. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean this? Yeah. You mean Cleopatra, who was praised by the scholar Plutarch for being very well educated in mathematics? Yeah, it's hilarious. Hmm. I think it's really funny. Interesting. Not exactly like mine, I guess. <laughs> we need to go through the supporting documents for the Q3 sales contracts, please. Now. So I was kind of wondering, like, you and Hunter, you know, it just seems kind of random. Oh, me and Hunter are just very good friends. Wait, good friends or just friends? Because there's a difference. Oh, sorry, my uh, shoelace is untied. Let me just... Are you okay? Yeah, no, I was just uh, tying my shoelace on my really sexy costume I made. A sexy costume? Yeah, I'm a sexy vampire. A sexy vampire from Sesame Street? No, it's like Vampire Diaries or something. What do you mean sexy vampire from Sesame Street? Who told you that? Did someone say it was the Count from Sesame Street? Because they're wrong. It's sexy vampire. Very sexy. Did you already have lunch or whatever? Or like, do you want to go to lunch or something? This is my lunch. Probably a lot of fruit in that. It's all vegetables. Kale, spinach, ginger, and kale. That's it? What did you have for lunch? I just had a Caesar salad. And? A grilled cheese. With? 12 pickles. And? Pepperoni. The full stick. It was like this big. Are you on a high sodium diet? I haven't peed in two days. Okay, well, you know, if you want to be fun again, let me know. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I never thought that I would be in this position. Very soon, some of you may be hearing some very vicious rumors. I don't know what they're gonna say. They could say anything. They could say that Prince Andrew is a close family friend. He is my godfather. They could say that I took my family's PJ from LAX to Burbank to attend high school. They could say that I'm fiscally Republican. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the link below. I am doing a merch drop next month and we have some very, very cute totes. Thoughts? Damn! So you're like, rich, rich. I, no, I'm, I'm not. My parent, my grandfather did fine for himself, okay? That's what every rich person says. Do you think succession is based on her family? Yeah, what does couscous taste like? If tax Twitter finds out about this, I will, I will lose at least two of my trust funds.
What was your first car? Mm, that's a good question. I don't drive. Uh oh, look out. It's the lower middle class. I don't know. <sighs> oh, cool costume, Jamie. This is not a costume. I was involved in a serious automobile accident. I think you should go to the hospital. It happened at the hospital. I was there visiting my dad, who was involved in a piano accident this morning. What does that mean? You know what it means, a piano accident. How does that happen, though? How does it always happen, Sarah? Someone's lifting a piano, there's a pretty girl across the street, my dad gets distracted, piano falls, dad goes to the hospital. That's how it happens. I feel like you've had way more than enough time to clean that bird shit out of your hair. It was another bird. <laughs> Can someone please tell me why I'm spending my Halloween working and not trick-or-treating? You know how many MILFs live on my block? Me neither, because I'm not trick-or-treating, so I can't find out. Why are we here? Well, maybe if someone would have implemented the standard controls that I suggested during the last audit, we wouldn't have to sit here and sift through these contracts and find the inconsistencies. And by someone, I feel like you probably mean Sarah, if I had to guess. Mm-hmm. Mom, you guys are really nailing this socks audit. Socks audit? Uh, my socks are different colors. Uh, what about you, Sarah Bear? <gasps> <laughs> Marty, dude, did you think of that all on the spot right now by yourself? No, no, I, I wrote that down last night. Did oh, you like bro, it? That's, you like that one. That's why everyone's like, yo, this guy's got the crazy puns. Oh my God. That's why they pay you the big bucks, dude, because you got puns like that. You think I'm jealous of Marty? No, I don't care what they have going on. If anything, they should be jealous of the sparks flying between Lindsay and I, because let me tell you, there are sparks right now. Thank you, Lindsay Flimsy. We went to karaoke together. Don't know if you've heard. It was pretty romantic. She didn't let us do any songs together, but she watched me do a bunch, and then she left when I was in the bathroom. Nice fit, but that's nothing compared to the dirt I've got. Also, how rich are you, ballpark finger? I think I'm having a panic attack. Turn off the camera, I can't right now! <laughs> I don't know, this is the United States of America the last time I checked. When I think of the bathroom, I think of the bathroom as my bastion of peace. Okay, nobody can bother me in there. My kids can't bother me. My coworkers can't bother me. Nobody can bother me. I just can't believe it. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I walk around in the nude all the time. I'm proud of what God gave me. I have what they call a package. You know, my wife, when we were together, she used to call me Pink Steel. And then when I was in college in Boston, everybody used to call me Whitey Bulger. So, it's a thing. I, I don't even think I, I got to tell you about um, my date with Marty. We went to an international eatery. It was very fancy, Outback Steakhouse. It's Australian. I had never been. I'm not as cultured as Marty. He knows all the fancy places. And our love was blooming, mm -hmm. just like the blooming onion. It was pretty hot and heavy. I don't know if you've even noticed, but the tension between us, sexual tension is um, palpable. Did you get your DNA results back? Um, yeah, it was inconclusive, hmm. but um, we're gonna go in, into the lab together mm. to, to do further testing. Good luck with that. I don't know if you want to hang out or anything, but I might be pretty busy soon because I'm thinking about becoming exclusive with a boy and that takes up a lot of your time, so I've been told. Maybe uh, we should hang out or maybe I'll hang out with Hunter. Hunter's gonna be a little bit busy with me. Well, that seems really inappropriate, you know, to have an auditor and client together, having touchy-feely relationships that hurt other people's feelings. You know that's an independence issue. Well, the partner signed off on it. Signed off on what? We have to go back. And I'm back. And we gotta go back to the future. Latte for a hot day. Did you just blow on it? Oh, well, it is really hot. And I also have a caffeinated beverage for you, my high priestess. And I did it without making everyone in the room want to throw up. Oh, you were going for an hour. I missed you. Yeah, well, look who can tell time. No, but seriously, I made three or four of those things, and I was taste testing them, and I burnt my tongue pretty bad. So I was just in the kitchen crying for a bit. They didn't oh. have a, a grinder for the beans, so I just used the disposal. OK, well, your efforts would be much more appreciated by focusing on being self-compliant. Hmm? 
mean, look at this. Rico's contract is outlandish. Why is he promising a client a lifetime supply of cilantro? I'm assuming that Sunriser isn't a cilantro company? We don't know. We can't say for sure. I mean, I, I had to sign NDAs about all the NDAs I had to sign. Which I just broke by saying that. Why Rico promised that Doja Cat was going to perform at the Halle Burton holiday party. Damn, that's fire. I will definitely be There's there. There's no way Sunriser can deliver on this contract. We're going to be here all night. And honestly, with the way things are looking, there may even need to be a clawback. What is that? Come on! Well, we're gonna go ahead and close that ticket, all right? Jamie, you have a good night. Let's go. That guy has the worst luck. Welcome to episode 419 of Daddy Dave's Dude's Den. This is a safe space where I can just let loose and unapologetically be myself. Now, today we have a very special guest, Ms. Michaela Rockefeller. Hello. And she is here to talk about today about being canceled on the interwebs. Yes. And now, why is that? Why, why are they canceling you? I have been asking myself that question all day. I, I've been racking my brain. I, I, I can't, you know, I, I, I got into Yale for rowing. I, don't, mm. I was a coxswain, you know. Our dear friend Lori Loughlin set it up. She's a wonderful person. Uh, Lori Loughlin? Maybe I wore mink in college, you know, but everyone in Skull and Bones did that. It was practically the uniform, if you know what I'm saying. Could be any number of reasons, really. Okay, so now, here's the thing. Here's right. the rub. This afternoon, right. you walked into the men's room in a bit of a fit, no, and you no. walked right into the men's room. You saw me in my most vulnerable situation there. Yes, yes. Now, I just want to know, mm-hmm. and this doesn't have to be legally binding, but mm. I hope it is, mm-hmm. is that <sighs> it was an accident. You're not going to press charges. No. Oh, right? oh, oh, <laughs> David. Oh, gosh, No. Uh, no, 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 no charges. No charges. We don't, nobody needs charges. I mean, you heard it was, that, right? We're recording. It was an accident. It was a, it was, it really wasn't a big deal. Well, it was a little bit of a big deal. You know, I couldn't really see because you were peeing sitting down. So I didn't, I don't. I mean, <laughs> no, you know what? I, 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 Jason, I, can we get this little section? Yeah, we'll chop that out. Thank you, Jason. Jason's my sound engineer. Sounds so good. He's doing a fabulous job. Just go ahead and read the ads, Dave. Oh, right, right, right. Make tonight. A Blockbuster night, because tonight we're being sponsored by the good folks at Blockbuster. Now, if you use the code Daddy Dave, you get free rentals for life and no rewind charges. That can't be right. <laughs> really? Well, they probably get you on late fees. Dave pays us about $500 a week to help him out with his podcast. And we do help him. By not releasing or recording a single episode. He thinks he's crushing it because we show him analytics from WTF with Mark Marin. The reality, it's sort of just a cancel bomb waiting to happen. Yeah, he's never gotten a fan letter. I write them all. Sounds so good. You're killing it. I'm sorry. I just want to say for the record that Jason forced me to dress up as Robin against my will. Yeah, I threatened him. I said I was going to cut off his eyelids and stab his pupils with a lit cigar. He complied. I mean, come on, it's worth it. We look sick as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Rachel! Um, honestly, I don't have a lot of good days, and this is, this is one of them. It's because I'm Batman, and I got Robin by my side. Thanks, Tim. These tights really, really hurt my balls. You want to know how I got these scars? Huh? Listen, Mom, do you want to know how I got these scars? What character are you doing right now? It's know. kind of a mashup, but I'm just being 100% Batman. Oh, man, it's 6.03. Oh my god, I've never been to the office this late. You're kidding, right? Okay, well, we can just add up these values here. Uh, 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 <coughs> one, what two, you... a three, a four, a five. What are you doing? Just use the sum function? Oh, ooh, that sounds really good. Where uh, where, where would I find him? No, not, not that. It's Use the formula. Oh, okay, that's here. I got the ick. Uh... No, it's... It's Alt Plus. Okay, 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 okay. Where is Alt Plus? Is that in settings? Oh, we need to update. Oh, I really got the ick. I mean, Alt Plus, really? That's like the first thing you should know. He's using the mouse. It's ridiculous. Completely unrelated. I had a family meeting with my mom. There were some, some secrets 
that were revealed from her past, a child given up when she was 16. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't uh, have Wi-Fi. It makes a lot of sense now. Marty spilled a Long Island iced tea at the Outback Steakhouse, and when he went to change, I, I saw his back, and we have identical birthmarks. Okay, guys, can we please take this seriously? You guys could really be headed for a... <laughs> Got a little wet. Oh, that's mm -hmm. that screaming can't be good. I mean, I'm sure the mics are picking that up. And don't we don't we need power for recording? No. Hey, Dave, who's the engineer of this podcast, huh? Well, <laughs> it's me, right? Okay. It's not okay. you, right? No, no, no. It's Thanks. sounding so. Good. Oh, Jason, thank you. So That means clear. the world to me. This technology is just fantastic. It is. What you guys have devised is really something amazing. I mean, I used to be just thrilled and amazed by the VCR. Remember when the little door would open and then, and then you'd put the thing in there and then the little door would close like a little garage? I used to love that. I thought there were elves in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I told you. I shouldn't have even talked about the clawback. This building is haunted. Oh, this is like the beginning of... Frickin' Monsters, Inc. Oh my god, I can't even see anything. Look, can oh we just god. get the lights back on? McFly, calm down, dude. It's just a breaker, okay? I'll go fix it. No, I'll, I'll do it. I'll figure I'll it out. I'll fix it. Oh I got god. it. No, no, thank you. Oh. I will actually go on my own. No, okay. you've done enough. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Why don't you just both go? Well, hmm? Fine, but only because you asked me. Hey, Sarah! Sarah! Keep Hunter safe. If I come back with a knife in my back, you'll know who did it. <laughs> Can you please mind your cloak hood, okay? It just poked me in the eye. That's a workplace hazard. What is your problem with me lately? You, you barely even acknowledge me anymore. Oh, why don't you ask your friend Marty to acknowledge you? It, just because I got a new job title doesn't mean I don't care about accounting. Yeah, well, to me, it feels like you just used accounting to get where you wanted to go. I guess I was dumb enough to think that accounting with you was an endgame. With me? No, I mean, yeah. Okay, a little bit. I like your spreadsheets. Really? I didn't want to, but yeah. They're organized and tidy and color-coded, and some weird, dark part of me thinks that's cute. I like your spreadsheets, too. Yeah, well, it's too late for that now, isn't it? Sarah Bear. Oh, please. <laughs> I hate that nickname, but it's better than Flimsy Lindsay. So. Hey, no, no, no. You've got to repress that memory, okay? I don't even know. I think I know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, uh, what do you think it was? Um, something like this. Help me! Help me! I dropped a licorice bite! All right, I'll just say it. There's clearly been a lot of tension here today. I'll say it. Sexual tension? No. It started off as a love triangle. Hunter, me, Sarah kind of glomped on. Then it became a rectangle. Hunter, me, Sarah, Marty. And now we're in uncharted territory with Lindsay on board. <laughs> it's a love pentagram. It's a little evil, a little naughty, and a lot hot. It's like one of those dating shows where they put a bunch of hot people in a house and they dare them not to touch each other. Yeah. You get all five of us in a hot tub and I will have to leave. I have eczema. Okay, well allow me to relieve the tension here. Your sales team is losing their commissions. <laughs> oh, uh, but they already spent that money. Okay, guys, I don't think you understand. This is really bad for all of you. Yeah, but mostly them, right? Because. Oh, thank God. I just got off the phone with my crisis PR team. They were able to scrub me from the internet, so crisis averted. And now that I've been on a white guy's podcast, I think it's safe to say I am officially uncanceled. My team recommends that I now move to phase two of my rebrand, Influencer Boxing. I will be fighting Addison Rae at MGM Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada on November 10th. Tickets in my link tree. Addison Rae, I'm calling you out! November 10th, MGM Casino! Come at me, bro! I'll bite your ear off! Big
that you could have just let me dress up like what I wanted to dress up. Who did up. you want to dress up as, Tim? I wanted to dress up as Amber Heard. Amber Heard from the trial? She's my favorite actress. She's your favorite actress? Yeah. Amber Heard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Power to you. I'm done. With my photo finish, crooked business like an orthodentist, calisthenics for like 20 minutes, do my fitness, then my academics. Woo. Yeah. I need my dollars and billies. You need to take my Achilles, or it sound like I'm popping a wheelie. Woo! Medical, 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 man, it can get theoretical. Uh, yeah. What if my body and body of work are identical? Cheesy, yeah. I like Parmesan with oregano. Easy, yeah. I want to lick on my envelopes.